Hello, my name is Matt Gracie, and I'm an engineer on the professional services team at Security Onion Solutions. This video is about using Playbook to raise an alert in your Security Onion console when particular file hashes appear in your environment. There are many use cases for this. Perhaps you received a piece of threat intelligence that included a hash for a new piece of malware. Or you want to confirm that a retired or unsanctioned piece of software isn't being executed from a local copy on someone's desktop. Or you want to put some honey credentials in a spreadsheet and get an alert if someone copies it from a file share. We'll walk through building two different kinds of alerts. One for if a file is traversing the network and is observed by Security Onion, and one for if an executable with a particular hash is launched from a Windows endpoint. And because the alerts allow us to investigate in the Hunt console, we'll also look at a couple of simple pivots to gather more information about the event during investigation. Let's get started. To begin, log into your Security Onion console, or SOC, and open up the Playbook module by clicking on the link on the left-hand side of the window. Playbook is a component in Security Onion that allows you to write detection rules against the data stored in the platform's Elasticsearch database. As you know, the logs from internal Security Onion components like Zeek and Suricata, as well as logs forwarded into the platform via Syslog or Beats, are all parsed and stored in Elasticsearch. With Playbook, we can write saved queries using the Sigma meta language that will be automatically run against this database every few minutes and raise an alert in the SOC if there's a match. Since one of the pieces of log data that's generated by both Zeek and Sysmon is a file hash, we can use this functionality to alert your analysts when a particular file is seen on the network. To create a new detection, or play, we click on Create New Play here at the top. Now there are several examples built into the Playbook interface. Let's take a look at the one for Sysmon. On the left, we have the Sigma syntax outlining how this detection works. It has a title, who am I execution, an ID, which is internal to Playbook, a status, a description, references for more information, the name of the author, which is Florian Roth, the date it was updated, some tags, and then we get into the meat of the detection. We have the log source, which is process creation logs in Windows, and we have the detection itself. In this case, it's saying, if Sysmon sees a process creation event that contains whoami.exe as part of a path, or if it sees an original file name of whoami.exe. This is selection and selection two. If either selection or selection two is true, then this will raise an alert in our Security Onion console. Now the interesting thing about Sigma is it was designed to be platform agnostic. That is, it's sort of a meta language for writing these detections. And then we compile it into a form that's appropriate for our particular tooling. In this case, we want to create an Elasticsearch query to see what that looks like. We click Convert, and you see it takes all of this syntax and converts it into something that will work in our Security Onion Elasticsearch query backend. If you see this event code and this channel and so on containing whoami.exe, raise an alert. So that's sort of the quick overview of how Sigma works. In our particular use case, we're looking for a file called santashop.exe, and I've written the detection rule for that. Let me just paste that in now. So in this case, we're looking for the MD5 hash of santashop.exe. This is an experimental rule. Here's the description. It detects the MD5 hash of santashop.exe. The author is myself. Log source, we're looking for the file service of Zeek, and here's the detection. If in the event module named Zeek, that is our metadata generator, in the event data set called file, so file information that was generated by Zeek, if we see this MD5 hash, then raise an alert. In this case, it's a high severity alert. If we convert this into a Elasticsearch query, we'll see it looks pretty much like you'd probably expect. If in event module Zeek and event data set file, you see hash MD5, either upper or lower case here, then raise the alert. If we're happy with how that query looks, then we can create a play from it. It'll create the play. We'll see here, if we go back to our home, play number 498, santashop.exe Zeek rule, which is the title that we gave it. If we want to make this active, we just click on the ellipsis here, change the status to active, 
And now if Zeek sees that file hash anywhere in network traffic, it will raise an alert in our Security Onion console. Let's see what that looks like. Once that playbook rule is made active, the Elasticsearch query will be run against the Elasticsearch database every few minutes in your environment. If that file hash shows up, you'll see that the event module playbook raises a high severity alert called santashop.exe Zeek rule, as you can see here in the SOC alerts console. If we want more detail about why the alert fired, we can drill down by either clicking here on the count or clicking on the drop down menu and selecting drill down, opening up the details here, and we'll see things like the client and destination IP, that is where the file was transferred between, uh, what file analyzers were run in Zeek, where the file was extracted to for further analysis by Strelka, and so on. In this case, we see it's a executable file. It's got this MD5 hash and this SHA-1. We have a copy of it saved here. All of the normal Security Onion analysis rules apply, so we can do things like click on the hash and pivot into virus total to confirm whether or not it's malicious. Uh, if we want more information about this file and how it got into our environment, we can use the hunt interface and pivot from this log ID characteristic. So if we click on this, and then under actions we select hunt, we can open that in a separate tab, and we'll see not only the information about the alert here that was raised by Playbook, but we'll also see the HTTP Zeek information, the file Zeek information, and the information about the connection. So if you're looking for more information about this hash, what web server it came from, what port it was on, uh, how it was downloaded exactly, what protocol was used. This is a really useful way to, to pivot from that alert and get that information. Um, please note that the Zeek file analyzers are protocol independent. So whether this hash shows up in your environment because it came across an HTTP session like it did here, or FTP or SMTP, any protocol that can carry a file that your security onion installation is monitoring uh, will be able to generate logs like this and do this sort of hash matching. But a disadvantage of doing it via Zeek is that these rules will only fire if the file moves across a network flow that is using an unencrypted protocol. So if you want to receive an alert when a malicious hash is executed on a Windows endpoint in your environment, you can do that if you're ingesting endpoint logs via something like Sysmon. So if you are generating Sysmon logs on your Windows endpoints and you're importing them into Security Onion using WinLogBeat or OS Query or Waza, uh, you can also write a rule to search those logs for the hash. So even if it comes in via HTTPS or via somebody's Gmail account or some other encrypted transport, you're still able to raise an alert at execution time. So let's take a look at what that kind of rule would look like. So now I'm back in the playbook interface. I want to create a new play. I have the play already written, so I'll paste it into our Sigma window here. In this case, I want an execution rule for the sysmon logs that I'm gathering for this santashop.exe. Again, this is an experimental rule. Uh, the description is that it detects the hash when a process is created. Uh, we're using sysmon as our log source. Uh, process creation logs in particular. And our detection is very simple. We're saying if we see something from the sysmon event module that's using process creation data set, and this hash exists in the field called event underscore data dot hashes, then raise an alert. Now you'll notice that in this case, we've got some wildcards here. We have a star and then the hash and then another star. The reason for that is that I'm using the Swift on Security Sysmon configuration. Uh, so using that configuration template in Sysmon, process creation hashes include the MD5 and SHA-1 hashes uh, separated by a comma in that single field. So I'm not just looking for the hash because it won't match just the hash value. I need to find this hash value inside the larger hashes uh, event. So if I hit convert here, you'll see it looks much like you'd expect if in the module sysmon and the data set process creation, uh, the hashes contain either my MD5 hash all in uppercase or my MD5 hash in lowercase, then raise an alert. Once again, I create a play from Sigma. 
and we see it's added it as play number 499. If I go back to my home screen here, it's still in draft mode as you can see. I click on the ellipsis, I change the status to active, and now if any endpoint on my network executes that santashop.exe file, or frankly if it executes any file uh, with that hash, so if the file is renamed that's not going to matter, the hash value will still be the same, uh, we'll see an alert in the events console, or in the alerts console. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Once again, once that rule becomes active, then anyone executing a file starting up a new process with that hash uh, will raise an alert in our alerts console here. You can see we have another alert to go with our Zeek rule. This one is for santashop.exe sysmon execution rule. If we drill down on that one, we'll see that the event uh, executed on Win 2012 web, which is a web server in our environment, it was a process creation event. If we scroll down a little bit more, we'll see here are all of the pieces of data, the, uh, the process command line, uh, the parent process command line, so it appears this was launched from a Firefox session, which makes sense. We saw HTTP in that uh, Zeek log earlier. Um, here are the file hashes. Again, it gives the MD5 and the SHA-256. So that's why we had to use asterisks on either end of the hash when we were writing the rule and so on. So here is all the information about that process executing. If we need to pivot on some more information, uh, one good way to do it is to use this, this uh, I'm sorry, not the parent entity ID, but rather the um, process entity ID. We click on that. We hunt, and we'll see all of the Sysmon collected information about what this santashop.exe did, uh, what files it created, what files it changed, what other processes it kicked off, and so on. So if we're beginning our investigation and assuming that this is something malicious or at least something suspicious, uh, this will give us a lot of excellent context around that particular process around that piece of malware and what it's doing where it may be propagating. If it does DNS queries or if it opens up network connections, that stuff is also logged by Sysmon, so you'll have visibility into all that stuff as well. In conclusion, Playbook is a component in Security Onion that allows you to write detection rules against the data that's stored in the Security Onion Elasticsearch database, whether it's network traffic that's observed via Zeek or whether it's logs coming in from your endpoints that you're collecting from something like WinLogBeat. If you're interested in learning more about this, uh, there's plenty of information on our documentation page. That's at securityonion.net slash docs. Uh, if you're interested specifically in Sigma syntax, they also have excellent documentation on the Sigma project page. Uh, if you're interested in our training offerings, including our detection engineering course, where we really get in-depth on this stuff, there's information about that available at securityonion.net slash training. And if you're trying to implement this in your environment and you're running into problems, your roadblocks, please feel free to start a new thread at securityonion.net slash discuss. Thanks very much. I hope you found this video useful. Have a great day.